Welcome to Overgo World, making your life better through tech, vacations and other great things. Remember to subscribe so that you don't miss out on our latest videos. So we're going to see now how to install uh, or play Overwatch 2 on the Asus Rogue Alley. So I've gone from uh, Microsoft's browser straight onto Blizzard Entertainment's website. And from there, you can see the URL at the top. But you could just google it into uh, or put it in bing and that will give you the um uh, the url anyway um it says on the top play now so i'm going to just click on play now here you can see uh it's giving you the options uh so you've got windows windows series xbox one playstation and nintendo and as the asus is running windows 11 software i'm going to do this through battlenet so I'm just going to click on button it. And I think it came up with a pop-up, but I'm just going to try it again. Try again there. There we go. And it's just downloading that. So I'm going to click on open file. Uh, English UK. So I'm going to click on continue. Click on yes for setup. There we go. Um, so it's going to install this. So uh, launch Battle.net when you start your computer. I'm going to be using this mainly for Overwatch 2. So yeah, I'm happy for it to start when I start my computer and click on continue. And as you can see there, it's installing Battle.net now on this. So um, what one of the one of the uh, things. As I mentioned, um, um, in terms of the setup of the ACES, it's worth installing your antivirus software up front. I've installed Bitdefender on this before I started doing any kind of install, so you may want to do that. So let's have a look at that. It's installing. We're almost up to 100% on that. So it's starting now, so here we go. So it wants me to log in, so I'm gonna log in into this and then I'll show you how it is. Okay, so I've keyed in my details. It's taken me over to the next screen. Uh, it's pre-ticked, enable auto update, create desktop shortcut, I'm happy with all of those. Uh, those of you who've played Overwatch 2 will know that Overwatch has lots of updates quite regularly, so that's probably something good to do. As you can see, quite a big download, uh, 34 uh, gig required for this. So I'm going to just start the install. So when I've clicked on the um, install um, Overwatch 2, it said I couldn't locate the file, I cancelled out of it, and it's brought me and it said welcome into Battle.net. So uh, I'm now on this screen, it's got a tour. So it's just sort of showing me, it says customize your favorite, add games to your favorites bar easy access um let's just click on next uh add friends okay set up groups um okay clicking on next personalize your experience change app settings click on got it there so this is where we are at the moment let's see what happens with overwatch um so it is actually installing it now it's installing it in the background here you can see that there is just over 29 gig left to download. So once that's downloaded, um, then uh, we'll come back to it. So just be aware that when it when you when you click on install button there, if you do get a message saying it hasn't found it, that's because it still needs to install it. So it's a bit weird it came up with that. As I say, I just uh, closed down that window. It took me to the button there. Uh, window and as you can see it's downloading in the background so once that's downloaded we'll take it from there okay so it's finished uh, downloading it's come up with the play option so I'm just going to click the cog here to just sort of see what it's got there game settings show an explorer create desktop shortcuts scan and repair check for updates modify install and install so I'm going to actually click on uh, create desktop 
shortcut and now I'm going to click on play. Let's see what happens. Launching. Um, it says, well, remember the last three games you launched. So let's see what happens on the play now. So there we go, we are in now in Overwatch. And as you can see, the touch screen works really well. It goes in uh, into the game, so I'm just gonna click on No Limits. Let's click on Practice Range. So obviously we need to set the controls, so I'm going to configure this properly with the control settings that I'm going to use. Um, but as you can see, it's downloaded. Uh, you can see the display crystal clear there, you can hear the sound. So that's installing Overwatch on the Asus. And what we'll do is we'll configure the settings and in a separate video we will show playing Overwatch on this properly. But um, as I say, I'm really pleased with how it's loaded, how it's displayed, the audio and the screen display. Okay, I hope you enjoyed playing Overwatch as well on the Asus Rogue Ali. We hope you enjoyed watching this, so please feel free to hit the like button and remember to subscribe for great upcoming videos. Thank you and see you next time.